What's the one thing you look for when you're booking a hotel? I know what you're thinking. Comfy bed, flat screen TV, Wi-Fi. Not me. If I'm booking a hotel, it's got to have, simply must have, <laughs> a table big enough to accommodate a seven-person high-powered business conference. <laughs> you could seat the Knights of the Round Table around that thing. <laughs> How about that hotel room? <laughs> That's one of the strangest hotel rooms I've ever stayed in. Anyway, I've noticed in the, in the comments recently on some of my videos, a few people said, oh, we missed the, the fast food challenges you used to do. And just to set your mind at rest, I haven't stopped doing those. It's just that I like to do things that I think are, are more creative and, and fun, just to kind of keep me sane more than anything. But I'm sure there'll be plenty of fast food challenges in the in future and actually if you're a big fan of the the fast food themed videos you're gonna love today's video because today i'm a wimpy sweet love this one i can barely contain my excitement i know a lot of the uh, the international viewers will be thinking what the heck is wimpy but if you're i don't know between 30 and 50 and from britain you will know what wimpy is it's kind of you think of it as like the uh the british version of mcdonald's it used to be really popular in the 80s and uh, early 90s but it's kind of died a bit as a brand just over the last decade or so and there are only like 40 or 50 locations left in the country there are no wimpies near me people have been asking me to do a wimpy video for ages and i've just never had the opportunity to but where i am today i'm in stafford there is a wimpy and not just any wimpy it's the tiniest wimpy in the universe it has to be i'm gonna show you look at it look how cute it is it's tiny <laughs> Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work practically because as you can see it's raining and it's mostly outdoor seating So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to make it work because I've, I haven't been this excited to eat a brand of fast food in ages Let's get inside I think that's like, I think I've got almost everything I get, can I get a, the chicken fillet burger as well? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll try the firecracker, why not? It sounds, it sounds spicy, hopefully not too spicy. Is there anything else that's, that's nice that I'm missing there? I think that's pretty good. Sorry, I know that's a lot. <laughs> ah, there we go, almost the perfect 50 quid. It's got a good ring to it. All right, here we go, 50 quid's worth of wimpy food. This takes me back. It's a little bit chilly out here, but um, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy this. It looks delicious. Apart from the, the lime, the lime shake. It doesn't look that great, but <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna taste good. Anyway, without further ado, this is baby food. And this is the uh, 50 quid wimpy challenge. Who's gonna? Ooh, that's real Pepsi. Start with. Chicken dippers. What's up, Ben? I mean, welcome back to episode number four of the Midlands mini series, and look at the excitement on my face. Not even, not even Mrs. Beard in a negligee made of Five Guys discount vouchers <laughs> would make me that excited. Anyway, you know when I do a mini series, I like to shoehorn some fast food in there. So today it's um, it's good old Wimpy. It's cold. <laughs> right, we'll do the um, chicken fillet. Yeah, it was um, it was a little chilly, but uh, nothing will warm you up like 50 quid's worth of almost the entire express menu. Definitely better than KFC. And I'm not just saying that because I'm British either. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, bold claim, people will be getting triggered. Oh no, wait, this is the um, the spicy bean burger. Still tastes just as good. Yeah, you know you're onto a winner if the veggie option tastes good, and the spicy bean burger was definitely one of the standouts. I really enjoyed it. it wasn't too spicy, you'll be happy to hear, but it was um, reasonably aromatic. <laughs> I don't know why I would use that word, but um, as you can probably tell, I'm enjoying the food at this point here at 
the Wimpy Chalet, which is what they call it in uh, in Stafford. Whoa, that was lush. I think this one could be the corn burger. Yep. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the food, but not even Wimpy can make corn taste good. It's such a weird place, it's kind of like in a residential area, like it's in somebody's street and there's just cars going by. <laughs> Yeah, but that just adds to the experience. This place is pretty much just a garden shed with the wimpy sign above it. But that just adds to the charm, I think. Bacon quarter pounders up next. Yeah, just about to tuck into some good old British beef. And actually, in researching this video, I thought Wimpy was as British pretty much as, I don't know, pot pie. But it turns out it was actually founded in Indiana. <gasps> <laughs> the look on people's faces when they see what I'm doing it. <laughs> never gets old. Yeah, never ending entertainment. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Despite reaching peak popularity in Britain, Wimpy is not actually British. It was founded in 1934 by an American guy who uh, based it on a character from Popeye, I think. I'm saving that to the end. That's the bender in the bun, which used to be my favorite. <laughs> Back when I was like nine. I think this is the, I can't remember what it was called, the giant. I think this is the, the Wimpy King or something like that. I think that might infringe on Burger King copyright, but. <laughs> <laughs> We're British here. We do what we want. Ooh, tough guy. I guess by do what we want, I mean steal burger franchises. Three big steaming hot burger patties. Ooh, indeed. I wasn't actually looking forward to this uh, king thing too much, because I often find three patties in a regular sized burger, believe it or not, to be a bit too many to be practical. But these were good. They were peppery, had a nice unique flavour to them. Look at this woman, about to photobomb me. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is the, uh, the fish finger burger. It's just a shame I don't have uh, Mrs. Beard with me because if you took the lettuce out and the mayonnaise, she'd totally eat this. 100%. Believe me, she'd never turn down three fingers. <laughs> the buns are kind of a cross between regular burger buns and kind of like muffins. They're kind of like a half and half. And I like it. I'm, I'm still chuckling after that last finger gag. <laughs> anyway, the buns, yeah, very rustic. It gave things a, a, a cool texture. Here we go, this is it. This feels like a special moment. This is the first time I've eaten a bender in a bun, which is what they call it. It's basically just a sausage sandwich with cheese, kind of cut up into little segments. First time I've eaten one of these in, must be 25 years. Yeah, I might be exaggerating there a bit, it might be closer to 20, but look at it, I'm enjoying it, the memories are flooding back. <laughs> I love it, I could eat here all day. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell from the angle, but the sausage kind of goes around the edge of the bun, and in the middle there's just a big chunk of cheese and onions. It's so much better than McDonald's. Yeah, I don't know about so much better, and it's not like McDonald's is the apex of fast food, but we'd be giving it a good go here, you know? I think it's it's hard to deliver good fast food, and th this is good stuff. Hi. Hi, mate. You're filming yourself, ain't you? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but there's a market for it somewhere. Right, we're almost done, just got the, the milkshakes and the, the chips left now. I know you're laughing, but we don't have Wimpy where, where, where I'm from. There, there is no Wimpy, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. Alright, take one back with you, kid. Yeah, I think I might actually, you know. <laughs> that old geezer had some laugh on him. We get down to real chinwag in a second, he starts telling me about all these celebrities. I hate that word, but you know, famous people that have visited that particular Wimpy. He seems to be a, a, a big fan. It, it kind of makes me sad, you know, that the Wimpy has gone into such decline. 
because I think now people are prepared to pay a little bit more for their fast food and I can see a resurgence for Wimpy if they gave it a try. Just some milkshakes to go now. Yeah, they're not really milkshakes though. It's, it's pretty much just thick ice cream. Delicious ice cream though. It's almost impossible to drink that through a straw. It's basically ice cream. You already said that in the commentary, sucker. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you at the next one. The Beckhams, sorry about my beard by the way, it's yeah. probably a total mess. Yeah. Gordon Banks, the goalkeeper? Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. The Beckhams, Gordon Banks. Yeah. I can't actually get over how busy it is here. Hey. I can't get over how busy oh, yeah. the, the Wimpy is. Yeah. Always yeah. We get hypothermia. This is the lime shake, which I just had to order because it's so <laughs> ludicrously green. Lime milkshakes and acquired taste. <laughs> I'm coming around to it though. This kind of feels like halfway between milkshake and the slushy. It's got kind of little crunchy bits in there. I can't wait to get back in my car. Just blast the heat. <laughs> All right, that was uh, that was delicious. That's um, today's video done, and there's something humongous in the next one. So I'm gonna get back on the road and uh, hope I'll see you at the next one. freezing my nuts off now. It's cold, it's wet. I just drank like two litres of milkshake, but uh, big wagon.